What's up, guys? Welcome to the Social Media Entrepreneurs Podcast, teaching you how to become a full-time entrepreneur by leveraging modern social media strategies. Today, I am joined by Aaron Garcia, founder of Pragmatic Solutions. And this is going to be a really awesome episode, no matter what business you are, and even if you don't have a business yet. If you've been listening to the show for a while, a couple months ago, I talked about one of the most lucrative opportunities that you can start online right now is an agency that leverages AI in ways that the average company just doesn't want to figure out like something that can help them out a ton but they just don't want to go there and that is a lot of companies at this point they just don't want to dabble with ai to the point where they just have to spend a couple weeks learning some new software and incorporating it and basically what we're going to be talking about today is how to create chat bots and just using AI on your website, no matter what business you are, to massively increase your conversion rates. So whether you're e-commerce and you're trying to uh, get a couple more percentage of your website visitors closed, or you've got a local service business and you're just trying to get booked appointments, a lot of people come to your website with the intent to do so, but for whatever reason, they leave. And this AI software that we're going to be talking about today is a lot of times the difference maker of these people booking an appointment versus leaving the site and forgetting about you forever. So if you can get double, triple, quadruple the amount of conversions than your site is currently getting, a lot of businesses out there listening to this would probably already have a lot of their goals met just by doubling their conversion rate. So this is gonna be a big one for you. And whether you are looking to incorporate this into your business or you like the idea of learning this skill set and selling it, uh, that we will be talking about both today. So really exciting stuff. Aaron, how's it going, man? Doing good. Well, that's a great intro. Awesome. Yeah. Could it have was done that easy. better myself? Uh, sweet. Yeah. I was like, this one's an easy one because I'm actually really <laughs> pumped up about this because I know who's listening out there. And there's a lot of people that are like, what business should I start? And a lot of times it's not always obvious. Like we'll be at the end of like drop shipping's kind of, yeah, it's, it's really difficult. This one's not that difficult because it's a high value not a lot of competitors. These businesses haven't been pitched on it either is the main thing. Like if Facebook ads work great, you can go pitch a chiropractor on running their Facebook ads and you'll be the hundredth person to, to message them about it. This is something that you can be the first or second person to message them about it if you are early to it. So um, give me the uh, a little bit more details on just the process and then we'll dive into the uh, the specifics. Yeah, I mean, I think just going off that note, you want to, as a business owner, from a business owner's perspective or an agency owner, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to create a product and be uh, introduced to a product that is sticky to the business owner. Agency life is very difficult, but if you have a product that you can not only provide value, but you can also show them with data that you're providing the value, you will be a sticky client for them. And just to kind of give a very broad overview, business owners pay for five, 10, you know, who knows how many different software tools to run their business. What we're doing today is eliminating all of those different subscriptions and taking all of them and putting them to one single platform and allow business owners to run their entire business in one single place. So it's a, a software that not only uses this chat bot, but it also can help schedule. Like, so it can replace Calendly for you. It, it's a payment processor. So you can replace um, having Stripe and PayPal and all these different things, um, or it's it, it's all in one spot, um, correct? What would be some other softwares that are common that businesses have that this would replace for them? So I, uh, you know, this is, this goes against everything I've ever learned as a uh, you know as a person who's been in sales my whole life. But I'm going to sell everyone on the features before I sell everyone on the benefits. So the features of this is you have SMS marketing, email marketing, social media planner, uh, drag and drop website builder, chatbot. Um, there's a really 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 unique feature called missed call text back as well as conversational AI. Um, this is also integrated with ChatGPT. So if you can imagine the ideas that kind of you know spur out from there, um, also turns into a payment processor. You're able to run all of your ad, ad spend, Google ads, Facebook ads, all from here as well. Um, but it really just consolidates everything into one single place. Um, you know, and what I like to say is we give business owners, or you can say agencies, entrepreneurs, their freedom back by providing them access to an all-in-one marketing automation platform, which allows them to spend more time on doing what they do best, which is 
run their business or spend their time on revenue generating activities. Um, you know, basically if you're a business owner and you or your team is spending a ton of time on manual admin tasks, there is a better way. And having everything in one spot too is nice to not have tabs open for every CRM and uh, everything you got going on. So I think the CRM, especially with the SMS text messaging, uh, it is really big to have that all together. And then it's a lot easier to um, integrate them all into each other without like using Zapier to to connect every program. Um, oh, you, you just hit it on the head. Yeah, it's uh, it basically has a built-in uh, Zapier to be able to connect these kind of internal systems. Okay. With, you're able to kind of trigger things. You know, if if X happens, then let's trigger Y. Um, and nice. I'll I'll actually touch on what you said, which is consolidate. You know, consolidating everything together. Um, they have a conversations tab, which, you know, when you connect your social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, anything like that, um, where you have one consolidated stream where all of your SMS, email, Instagram DM, Facebook DM, all of those conversations are held in one single place. And you can interchange if you start a conversation with someone as an Instagram DM, and then it transfers over to an SMS or an email it'll still be held in one single stream for you to kind of access where that conversation originated from. So the features are all there. Let's talk about the benefits <laughs> then. Uh, and I'll give you some examples of some businesses and you can let me know what would be some of the main ways that you would make that business more money. Um, you, you would be the first things you'd set up for them. So let's talk about e-commerce to start because there's probably uh, the most amount of the listeners, like that's probably the most common businesses. They're selling some kind of product. And, um, it's, I, I guess like if you, do you want me to come up with like a product itself or should I just keep it as e-commerce? You want, no, let's just keep, keep it as e-commerce. Okay, um, cool. I think it's pretty applicable across any of the platforms. Okay, so cool. if you're an e-commerce platform, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you have a variety of different products, you know, there's, you're not just selling one. If you are good for you, cause you're probably doing really well selling that one product. That's all you have on there. But um, by implementing a chatbot, and guess what? I'm, I'm assuming you already have a chatbot, you know, and I'm assuming it's, it has some predetermined questions that people ask it and, oh, do you, uh, you know, what's your order number? You know, things like that. What this allows you to do is when you have, uh, when you implement a chatbot system through this software, you actually take the URL of your business, you feed it into the bot, and the bot then trains itself on all of the content that is listed on your domain. So product manuals, you know, specific questions about features of a specific product, any of the blogs that you might have written about the products, you know, for SEO purposes, any content that's on your website, it will train itself on it. And then you can actually go through and help train the bot and ask it specific questions. And based on the answers that it provides, you can give it a thumbs up, thumbs no. And based on a thumbs up, it basically knows that is the correct answer. But you then just turned a automated AI bot into your customer service. Now, I will say, if you're going to get asking questions about um, asking questions about specific orders, unless those orders are within the system, it's not going to read that. But this does allow you to, you know, help people who have questions about a product or service. Where, I mean, I'm sure you're like me. How many times have you filled out a contact us form on the website? And, you know, or, Hey, I have a question about a specific product you send, you press send and you're, you know, you're like, well, I might hear back tomorrow. I might hear back in a month or I might hear back never. This allows you to actually keep those customers that might've been on the fringe of placing that order. You're just answered the one question they had before they were able to press send. all through an automated system. So when does this usually pop up on the website? They'll be at the checkout page and they've been hanging out for a while. And then the chatbot's like, hey, can I help you with anything? Or is it like chilling in the corner and like waiting till they click on it? Yeah, chilling in the corner. It's a, you know, similar to, to any other native chatbot. It's a little bubble. It sits in the corner. Um, it will pop up in a little screen. Um, you can implement your own picture. Uh, I personally have uh, someone that's, you know, my picture. So it looks, you know, looks as if they're talking to a real person. Um, but it pops up and it says, hey, you know, how can we help you? If you have a question, please message us here. And then what it does is it immediately, you know, transfers that conversation into a text conversation and allows the, you know, the person who's there to be able to get all of their questions answered in a, you know, reasonable, easy fashion. Because again, I'm, I don't know how many people are paying for, you know, how many different, uh, 
you know, customer support team you have, or if it's 10, 15, 20 people, you might even be able to eliminate a lot of those people, but just by uh, adding this bot and allowing it to answer those redundant, repetitive questions that you receive on a day-to-day -day basis about your product. So uh, really helps out with not having as much of a customer service department necessary uh, for sure. And uh, t tell me about the missed call text back feature and, and relate it to service-based businesses. Yeah, of course. I think service-based, uh, you know, if I'm call, you know, being transparent, this and where I focus a lot of my attention as an agency owner is service-based businesses. If you're a brick and mortar business that relies on appointments, relies on people coming into your door, this service will change your business and it will double, triple the leads that come in to your business from your website. Um, but for the missed call test back, um, this is actually a good stat uh, from Google. 65% of inbound calls to small businesses go unanswered every single day. Um, a story about one of my clients who's a functional medicine practice out of Boulder, Colorado. Their entire Monday was dedicated to responding to voicemails that they received over the weekend. Their entire Monday. They're paying two individuals at the front desk to respond to voicemails all Monday. What this allows you to do is when someone calls after business hours or if they're busy, you know, front desk, people are always busy. Um, if, you know, you get a missed call, it'll immediately turn that conversation to an, uh, an SMS conversation, message them and say, hey, this is, insert business name, sorry, Mr. Call, how can we help you? And from there, the conversational, you know, bot takes over and is able to answer any of the questions they might have. And you can also program it Hey, are you a current customer? Are you a current patient? Do you have a question about an order? Great. We're a little busy right now. We're going to get back to you as soon as we can. Talk soon. And then from there, you can actually send a notification to your front desk, to the owner. If the owner wants to be, you know, kind of in the weeds, you notify your team members that, hey, we have a, you know, a, a current customer that had an issue with X. Can you please get back to them? Yeah, even if it just organizes their questions and then just lets the person know what they're calling about, that can make it a lot easier than being like, hey, we saw you got a missed call. And it's like, and they're like, well, I don't remember calling you like a two couple days later. And then you're like, oh, yeah, like I remember why I called this business. Like it, when they when they got a question, they they want it resolved right then. So that's the other thing that's so important about this is that it's immediately taken care of their problem while the customer has it. Um, because it's, I had someone, um, I had sold someone something about probably a couple months ago. And then they reached out to me last week and I was kind of like on a mini vacation and I saw the email and I was like, oh, I got to get back to her uh, soon here. And then five days passed by and I'm like, oh, I just remembered like, holy cow. <laughs> and then I called her and uh, she had already contacted another representative to help yep. her with that order. So uh, she was like, okay, I'm glad I, I thought you were ghosting me. Like I, I already called someone else about it and I'm like, okay, no, I'll, I'm, I'll help you. I'm your guy, you know, and now you're losing this opportunity to even lose customers just because you're not providing some kind of contact back in Absolutely. that first day. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you know, imagine it this way as a, if you're a service-based business, someone goes on Google, you know, you have a pipe burst or you have a toothache or you know you need to see a doctor or a physician a chiropractor you search chiropractor near me and what you do you call you look at the website you call them they hang up or if you don't you know if you hang up and you haven't talked to anyone yet what are you doing you're moving oh, right down the yeah. list to something else yeah this allows you to turn that missed call into a warm lead and then potentially that warm lead into a booked appointment all without someone having to step in that can happen after hours and because they got that immediate text, they're like, oh, like, oh, let me text them back before I was about to call that other one, but I'll just text them back. So it really could be the difference of, yeah, getting the, yep. the sale in, or not. It, it, um, in, the, in the digital world, the speed to lead as, you know, cheesy as that sounds, it is probably one of the most important aspects of business growth is being able to get back to your leads in a timely manner. I mean, yeah. about this, if you have a contact us form on your website, that individual took time out of their day to fill out that form. And it might be a short form, but they took time out of their day to reach out to you and say, I want to be called back. I have a question about your service. The sooner that you're able to turn that initial reach out into a conversation, 
the sooner that you get a, a paying customer. Yeah. They, otherwise, they probably already got the problem solved or they forgot about inquiring with you. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I think there's a lot of people too, like maybe if you're a gym and that person is like, you know what, I'm going to call into this gym and then you don't pick up. And then a few days later, uh, you, you call them back and all of a sudden, uh, that burst of motivation that they had to join a gym is gone. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you know, they, they were like, no, I was, I was really feeling it. You know, I, I have two cups of coffee, coffee, and I realized that I want to get my life in order, but yeah, you call me back now, like the new star Wars is on. So uh, that's actually a perfect, uh, that's a perfect, uh, segue because, you know, uh, I have a gym, uh, gym client where we've actually uploaded, um, this software, you know, if you're familiar with the service called Calendly, this actually has a software, it's group booking. So you can upload and connect multiple calendars for your team into one single place. And again, let's say someone calls, you don't answer. They turn, you know, the, the bot turns that into a uh, SMS conversation. Hey, just wanted to see if, you know, I could come meet with a personal trainer. I'd like to come in. This immediately can say, hey, absolutely. Here's the booking link. And then when they click that link, they have the opportunity to see the open availability for a number of people rather than just one individual. So it's another example of how you can use a software like this to turn either a website reach out or a missed call into a conversation that actually ends up turning into an appointment. And Aaron, there's a way that I think you're hitting your table right now that sometimes shakes the camera, just so you know, too. So, <laughs> um, but, but uh, yeah, uh, all right, you got it. Um, so yeah, I think gyms, total, totally applicable, especially with that example that I just gave, like that is something that someone who's like, I want to do something about my fitness right now, like might not feel the same way the next day, even. Um, so I always tell people too, that are looking to get into the gym, like first step, like financially commit yourself to it while you're in that moment and get started. Um, but, uh, is there anything, any other features? I feel like we've covered the major features and the major benefits. Should we get into like how people could actually get started with this now? Or is there anything else that you feel like they should know? Yeah, actually, I have, I have one other thing um, that I can touch on. And with regards to me shaking the camera, you can tell I'm passionate about what I do here. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm an animated person. For those listening, you know, I use- I am I, too, yeah. Like if I- My hands, I talk with my hands. You've seen, uh -huh. them, you've seen them come up to this call. Yeah. Um, no, there's, there's one other feature I think that uh, is really underrated and most businesses today aren't doing. And this is applicable to any business, you know, e-com, service-based, coaching, whatever, you know, whatever you may call it. If someone has placed an order, if someone has come in, if someone signed up for your newsletter, you have a list of individuals that have opted in to receive communication from you, whether that be SMS or whether that be email. Through this software, you're able to do list reactivation to where you can structure this. So if someone has not interacted or called or you know gone to your website or you know reached out to you all within a set period of time, let's call it six months, you can set up an automated workflow where It'll take those individuals that you know might not have come to your website within six months and then immediately either send them an email or an SMS that says, Hey, we haven't seen you in a while, just want to check in. You know, if you're, you know, if you're still in, interested in X, like we'd love to have you back. Here's 20% off. And so you're able to have a really robust and pretty strategic list reactivation to order to, you know, because I mean, all business owners, um, business owners know this. It is way more expensive for you to find new clients than it is to service the ones that you have. So if you can find a way to continue servicing the ones that already know your product, that already know your service, you can really scale as a business owner. And truly, if you're coming at this from an agency perspective, you can really make an impact for, for your clients and for your um, you know the business owners that you work with. Yeah, the main reason agencies don't make it is they just can't retain their clients. Uh, like the first part, like if they can't even get clients to begin with, then of course, like that's going to be their end. But a lot of agencies ha have never really had that problem because they come out and say, Hey, I'll, I'll do your Instagram content for you, or we'll do whatever. They go a month or two with that business and the business cuts ties. And um, with agencies, a lot of the ways that the pricing structure is set up is even if you have five to 15 clients, you're probably doing okay. So can you like maintain those clients? And uh, is really the difference of whether you've got a business that even supports the lifestyle that you're going for too. Cause you're like, oh, we lost another client and now I'm on vacation. Now like we got to replace this client right away. Like you can't even uh, take a breather from your business cause you're always needing to replace uh, whoever just left. And if 
they are leaving and then it means you're costing them more money than um, you're making them and you, you can't make an impact. But if you're, it's always cool as an agency owner to say, oh yeah, I just, I make chiropractors rich is basically what I do. I make, uh, you know, X business rich. <laughs> like, so that's why I do so well. Um, it, it's a lot easier to feel great about what business you're doing when you can do this. And this is such a, a, a service that you could really set up for someone at an affordable rate that is not costing you a ton of time. So you can be effective with your pricing and you can manage a lot of clients. And I could see this as an agency model that could be taken into the 100K plus per month um, with, when servicing the correct niches and doing a great job at it. Then uh, this is certainly a business opportunity with no real ceiling to it. So um, tell me about some of the different ways that we got some people out there that are like, I like this business idea. Obviously, I just need to acquire the skill set. And then there's other businesses out there that got no time, but could definitely see how some kind of AI on their website would be useful. Yeah, so I work with businesses that are all kinds, people who want to you know, get into the, the weeds and understand how the sausage is made and business owners that say, I already don't have time to run my own business, <laughs> let alone figure out how to run this and can you just set it up for me? Um, so regardless of which one you are, there is a way to you know go about this. So with my business and my agency, Pragmatic Solutions, we have two main offers. Uh, there's a 497 plan, um, which I consider to be more for the established businesses that are looking to scale, kind of looking to take that next step up, provide some efficiencies in their process by using automation. Um, and a 297 a month, which is, a lot for individuals and startups. Uh, the 297 a month, um, we have a program that's it's, it's an add-on that's basically done for you set up. So I meet with the business owners one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we'll have two different calls to understand the different you know business processes that you currently have. And then I will and my team will go in and actually physically set up all of your automations, insert the chat bot, you know, build it, you know, if you have a funnel, build everything out that you need to build completely done for you and it's 297 a month and that's about that's about all you'll pay um for the 497 a month if you have a it's a little bit more for an intricate business that has a ton of different calendars they want to connect a ton of different workflows that they want to automate email sms things like that um that's 497 a month with a one time uh setup fee of 11.99 um so all in you're looking at about seven you know 1700 for the 497 package and um about 800 for the uh, 297 package but again that's a one-time fee and then after that it's 297 and 497. um the one difference i would say is the 497 uh plan does come with a 24 7 support system so for business owners that chat access bot. the market, yeah well but it's a chat out with real people okay cool. um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's not no 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 ai in this um is a 24 seven where if you have questions about, hey, I'm looking to set this up or I'm trying to build this funnel here, they are actually there to answer all of your questions. And if a business owner is having trouble, they will send them a video or jump on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with them to actually walk them through it. Cool. Um, so it is a really unique feature uh, to get started. But um, the, way, the way I say this for business owners, and one question I'd like to lead off with is how much do you, you know, value your leads? Like what is a, what's the value of a lead to you? And a lot of times, you know, for my functional medicine uh, client, or if you're a chiropractor, um, you know, my functional medicine client says, oh, they, you know, they charge $800 an hour and a new client, new patient appointment is two hours. So if you can do the math on that, that's a, it's a pretty lucrative, you know, uh, uh, appointment. So if we can bring you one new lead, just one new lead from this process and from this chat bot and from this system, one new lead a month, you'd be paying for this service, you know, for the next six months from just one new lead. So imagine what this can do to your business if you're if this is optimized in the right way and you actually have a lot of traffic already coming to your to your website, if we can convert, you know, and that's a that's a probably a 0 0.001 conversion rate. So the the numbers can get pretty pretty interesting um when, you know, you you realize that for 297 a month you can you can really make an impact on on your business or on someone else's business. Yeah. Uh, so any business out there that feels like this is something that they can incorporate and start making money with right away, you're probably already seeing the vision and you can go to the link in the description and uh, check out the details of what we just talked about. My personal endorsement though, for those of you listening to this that don't have a business out there, maybe you're even 18 looking for that 
first business to start, this is going to be the best one that I can recommend. I did an episode recently where I talked about this. I talked about doing uh, e-commerce, but using like AI designs. And then I also talked about like getting into sales. Getting into sales is great. Uh, you're not really running your own business. The second one, e-commerce. The margins in most e-commerce endeavors are very small, especially if you are going to be buying your own inventory. You're looking at spending a few thousand dollars to get this business off the ground. With this one, you're looking at like that 297 investment to learn a skill that you can basically pick any niche after and find some way to make them more money than you cost. And this is something that you can teach yourself probably in, in a week or two. And this is just a skill that the average business owner, when they hear about learn this new AI software, their mind just turns off. And I talked about like, these are the opportunities that you look for because now all of a sudden like opportunities like Facebook ads, they're like, yeah, we, we've done it ourselves. Like a lot of them have figured it out now. Like they figured out how to do their email marketing. Like there's a lot of agency skills that you can sell out there, but there's so many business owners that just like to do it themselves now or they get how to do it themselves. So we'll, we'll do it someday. And it's very hard to close that lead. This is just an area of knowledge that they don't want to get into. At least at this point in time, they just don't want anything to do with learning this new AI thing. So if you can be the one who spends a couple of weeks learning this new AI thing, implementing it into their business, doubling their conversion ratios, and then making, you can even do Aaron's type of charging you get three clients at 300 a month and you're almost at $1,000 a month and you're barely doing anything after you've got this chat bot up and running. This is a very, um, you know, I hate to say the word passive, but like, it's like almost passive income, right? Is basically what it's all about now. And this is a great almost passive income opportunity. And now you have a, a real world skill that even if you get outside of entrepreneurship and go into like a um, traditional job, you'll probably have some kind of applications there to, to have this AI software knowledge. Like this is a skill that is going to be very necessary for the future that very few people have uh, tried to do yet. So um, can't stress enough that this is a A plus business opportunity for any of you out there that are wondering what you should start. Um, this would this would be a great I idea with very low capital investment from you up front. I think the uh, ending note I'll I'll have for that is um, you know we am coming up with uh, an onboarding course, so I'll actually have a course that I can offer your listeners that literally teaches them everything from starting the LLC, buying their domain, connecting it to the system, to then actually implementing all of these tactics that we just talked about for their business. Yeah. And it's for all free. You, that's a all free, you really that's, need is a click by click walkthrough with these kind of things, um, yep. because the, you get in there and it's just like a mess. But if you follow a course that's just like click by click walkthrough, I did that with uh, the, this AI print on demand automation software, and it was I was like, that's really cool. Like the AI just makes art images and paste it on whatever products I want, and then post it everywhere, like including like a social media post. It's like, that's incredible. I, no way am I spending the time to learn this. And I just follow this click by click course. And I was like, sweet. And then that, that business is already doing, it just got to the point of like getting a sale every other day. And uh, I don't touch that one. So there's so many AI automation businesses out there um, that are possible. And uh, we really are just getting started because I think we, we got that first wave of like everyone like, oh, it's so crazy. But like only so many people did something about it. They're like, yeah, it's important. We, we got to learn about it. But it's like, we're OK, so what do I do? Just like type in, like learn about AI and Google and start like reading all the articles, like just get, like go into this, like learn this software that he's talking about. So check that out at the details in the description. And then Aaron, where can they message you? Um, you know, I'll actually, I'll provide you with my email or, um, you know, you can find me on Twitter as well. I'm pretty active with teaching people about software and, and how to harness the power of this software to, to really find themselves a place of financial freedom. What's your Twitter? So I'll provide, it's Aaron underscore GHL. Okay. Sweet guys. So send them a message on there, check out anything you need. You can reach out to me too. And of course, if you got value today, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, drop some comments. We'll respond to all of them. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.